At May's Health, we're really proud of the fact that we have units that deal with both men and women with sexual dysfunction. The men's unit, um, I'm the medical director, um, and we really have men see the men. And Bacheva Marcus, Dr. Bacheva Marcus, is uh, the clinical director of the women's center. And we often find that we will be working with uh, both parts of the couple. Often the issue is not that there's one problem, that there's a couple of different problems going on. And if we can be working, the more directions you can work on it from, it be that the two sides of the couple or the medical versus the psycho psychological, or the medical and the psychological on both ends of the couple, the better your results are gonna be. The power of working together is unbelievable. And uh, we're really lucky we get to do it. Right. I mean, the fun, I mean, many of the fun ones are the almost like the classic mismatches. So you have a woman who has real difficulty reaching a climax, and then you have a man who has either erection issues or premature ejaculation. Well, it's not a good match, you know? And so we need to really work on both of these. Remember that case we had? It was a couple of years ago. I mean, we have so many, but the one where the guy came in. Yeah, he came in originally with erection issues, and she was in my office and she completely burst into tears because she said like, well, that's good, but I can't have anything come into my vagina. They had been living together, I think at this point, for like four years, and they had not consummated the marriage, and she had vaginismus. We started working with her, I think it was eight weeks later that she came in and she was pregnant, She was pregnant, right? they were yes. pregnant. They had a baby within a year of coming in, having never had intercourse, and really feeling like they just, they were sure this was never gonna work. And and we get Christmas cards from that every year now, and like I, I sort of cry every time we get that. Like it's amazing, they have three children now. Um, How and, can they send them to you and not to me? Uh, <laughs> 